You know, it's funny. Sometimes the absolute correct strategy for no limit hold'em is the exact opposite of what the correct strategy would be in limit hold'em. Let's take a look at a few examples. Probably the biggest difference between no limit and limit hold'em is the way you approach playing on the flop. Now in limit hold'em, it's all about pound, pound, pound. Let's say for example, you have ace jack and the flop comes jack nine four. Well, in limit hold'em, you want to bet and raise and re-raise as much as possible. But if you're playing no limit hold'em, hmm, it's a little more tricky. You only got one pair. Sure, it's top pair, but if somebody else has a set, you could lose everything you have. So in no limit, you want to be more cautious and look to trap. In limit hold'em, when you get to the river, it's totally okay to stay aggressive. If you think you have the best hand, go ahead and bet one more time. What's the worst thing that can happen? You lose one more bet. Big deal. It's not the end of the world. But in no limit hold'em, it just might be. In no limit hold'em, even if you think you have the best hand sometimes, if a really scary card comes off and it might cost you your entire stack, sometimes it's better to just check and win what's already in the middle. Limit hold'em has often been described as a science, while no limit hold'em is often considered an art form. See, the problem with bluffing in limit hold'em is you just can't put enough pressure on your opponents with one stinking bet. However, in no limit hold'em, if you think your opponent's weak, you can bet it all if you want. Now that ought to scare them. In a live game, all you have to worry about is playing your hands right and maximizing your profit. But in a tournament, you often have to sacrifice value in order to survive. Tournament poker is more about survival and money management skills than it is getting full value on your hands. There are mixed theories on how to approach the early stages of a tournament. The best approach, though, is to take calculated risks and really go after those dead money players. There's more bad players in the early stages of the tournament, and if you don't get that dead money, one of the other top players will. The middle stages of a tournament are really tough. Your strategy depends on your table composition. If you're at a table with a bunch of weak and timid players, well then you be a maniac and start attacking them. However, if there's already a bunch of maniacs at your table, well then you need to be patient, sit back, and look to trap them. It's all about ebb and flow. Okay, now this is the sage that separates the men from the boys. What you want to do now is get super aggressive, especially against the wimpy players who aren't looking to play and just squeak into the money. The real champions at this stage live by a philosophy. It's real simple. In order to survive, you must be willing to die. See you at the tables.